Hey friends, today we are hanging out in the Magic Kingdom and I am so excited because it's the first day of the brand new Lightning Lane multi-pass system. This is the new system Disney is using uh, so you can skip the lines, kind of like Genie Plus and Fast Pass. And I hear that it's actually going to be the best version of all. So I wanted to come out and test it out, see how easy it is and uh, share my experiences with you. So we're going to take advantage of this beautiful weather, ride some rides, eat some food and have a beautiful beautiful Magic Kingdom kind of day. Anywho's, let's go do this. It is a beautiful Wednesday morning here at the Magic Kingdom and it's just around 10 a.m. and I'm excited to hang out here and take in this beautiful weather and show you guys the new Lightning Lane multi-pass system. I purchased the Lightning Lane multi-pass this morning uh, at my house, but I screen recorded my phone so that I can show you and I want to go sit down and kind of go over it with you. And I think I'm just going to focus on the multi-pass, uh, not so much about the single ones. You can purchase uh, ones for Seven Doors, Mine Train, and Tron, uh, but I was buying mine around 9.30 a.m. and they were all sold out. Like everything was sold out. So uh, we're just going to mainly focus on the uh, multi-pass itself today. and hopefully ride a lot of rides <laughs> it definitely seems like it's not a crowded day only because i think the hotter months keep the crowds like a little bit lower until it gets darker out but uh we'll sit down and find a little spot recap and get ready to get ready to ride I bought the multi-pass lightning lane this morning for $29 here at the Magic Kingdom. And once I got in there, it was really easy to use. I think it's cool that now you can book three days in advance if you're an annual pass holder. Today, obviously, since it's the first day, I couldn't book in advance. But now I can book three days from now and uh, have all my lightning lanes already selected. And even longer if I'm staying at a Disney Resort. Sad that they did not include uh, international guests. I feel like they need to fix that. Like, that's so important uh, but it was really easy it was $29 I picked my park and then it gives you three attractions to pick usually a tier system up top where it is like your e-ticket attractions they have Big Thunder Mountain Tiana's Jungle Cruise Space Mountain you choose one of them and then two of the other ones it's kind of just like the old fast pass system where you just get another one for the rest of the day you just keep on getting one and then another one and another one and I'm excited to see how it works out in the field because I like actually just like going around and modifying things as I'm, I'm in the park and I like going from rides to ride like I like going from Space Mountain right to Buzz Lightyear so we're gonna test it out see if we can do stuff like that because I feel like you couldn't have done that with Genie Plus and uh, see how the day goes Almost immediately, I can tell you I like this a lot better already because Genie Plus, it was almost impossible for me to ever find the button to find my like things. And look how easy that is. It just pops up with all of your things and you can simply just go in and modify it. Like I said, so these are my original three. I got Big Thunder Mountain at 1120 and then I got Bondstormer at 120 and then Pirates at 225. All I have to do is just use one of my initial three uh, lightning lanes and then I can start booking other attractions. So it's always hard to just decide between that initial one, you know what I mean? For me, it's between Tiana's and Big Thunder and I went Big Thunder, you know what I mean? Uh, and as soon as I scan in, I can start trying to get another one and like I said, try to go from ride to ride and just ride the ride, ride the wave wide, ride the wave wide. We're going to make our way over to Big Thunder Mountain, and then as soon as I tap in there, I'm going to try to get Tiana's right afterwards, because you don't have to use all three of your Lightning Lane selections. Uh, you just have to use that first one, and I think as soon as you tap in here, you're going to be able to use, like, it's just free, free play. You just get to see whatever is available, and Tiana's included in that, so we'll try. Fingers crossed. It got extremely hot out. It was in the high 80s around 10 a.m. this morning. Now we're getting close to noonish, and it jumped into the 90s, and it feels like it's 102 out. So a little ride on Big Thunder probably will cool me off a little bit. Hopefully the wait time won't be too long. That's another thing you got to look at is now that we have this new lightning lane system, is the lightning lane uh, line going to be a lot longer? Is it going to be backed up because you can only pick one of these attractions for that first initial group? We'll see. <laughs> Here is the line for standby. It's a 50 minute wait, but the lightning lane looks pretty, uh, pretty empty. 
now that we're tapped in, I'm going to start refreshing and seeing what other uh, attractions are available for me to book as soon as I get off this ride and hopefully try for Tiana's. Hey, how are you guys? Hey. Having a hot day? This is like our first <laughs> day and I was like, I really want to meet Mr. Murray. Yeah. Well, how are you doing? <laughs> I'm using my phone these days. There it goes. Yeah, because like if this was all backed up, luckily it's indoors, like most of it, because uh, honestly, sitting out here in the sun, Oh boy. Best removing, don't want to lose my uh, dog person hat. And we got the front row, look at this. Right up front here. Beautiful view. You can see Cinderella Castle. lost my hat look at that holy moly <laughs> big thunder was definitely the best way to start the day and as I was in the queue I was in there refreshing things trying all different methods I was going into the modify screen and seeing if I can change my second lightning lane and then it even gave me an option that like let me know you can now book another lightning lane attraction and I was in there and then boom Ty uh, Tiana's popped up under the modified section which that isn't the best way to do it I was just seeing if I can move up my uh, one reservation and instead of moving up the time I saw that it was available I clicked it and I was like bam so we go from Big Thunder Mountain right to Tiana's Bayou Adventure and honestly I'm kind of shocked at first I was initially thinking you couldn't book uh, another like tier one one until you use all three but as soon as you get off either Big Thunder or Space Mountain or Jungle Cruise or Tiana's you can just book another one for one of the other attractions so that's what we did we got lucky I can't even believe that <laughs> The lightning lane for Tiana's is really quick too and as soon as you touch in uh, you get to book another like a lightning lane attraction I'm gonna film on the ride but I don't want to get the camera wet I'm more interested in seeing what we could do after this I think we just got lucky because basically whenever a lightning lane like if someone doesn't use it or cancels it or changes it it just goes back out for anyone to pick up and look at that we got so lucky and the lightning lane has a zero minute wait lightning lane you like uh, I don't think there, I haven't waited actually at all yet. Oh boy.
the bayou. Going down the bayou. <laughs> That was refreshing. I am soaking wet though, but I can't tell because it could be sweat mixed with the little Tiana's water in there too. You know, at least I'm, at least I feel a little bit better that there's some cool water on me. But uh, now we're gonna see what else we can get into. I need to get something to eat though. As much as I want to keep doing just ride and bounce and ride, I like to let, have a nice little snack stack, like a snack in between. You know. I think we have Pirates of the Caribbean later on. Maybe we can try to move it up and uh, ride it now. They do have like the function where you can change the time. Also, maybe I'll stop and get myself some of uh, Tiana's famous beignets. I don't know. They did get rid of the uh, Tortega Tavern over here. It's now uh, Tortega Ta uh, Treasures. And uh, I don't know if there's any other food stops. Yeah, they did change this over here. They even changed the sign up here. Look at that treasures huh that's crazy and where you would order the food is uh the cast registers and it's just a bunch of pirates of the caribbean merchandise and souvenirs clothing gone are the days of all the food and tables but they do got some big stanley cups i say that's a big pirate one they also have like a I don't even know what this is, a pirate Donald Duck coffee cup? This is so interesting. They have a lot of new stuff. And the Stanleys, I'm not sure how much these are. Oh, $39.99. And this is this one says, uh, always be yourself unless you can be a pirate. I don't see this staying a pirate store for a long. It kind of just looks like a temporary location. I just don't know why they're doing it. I know they're building the pirates little lounge and bar, but uh, it's kind of cool seeing all this new pirates merchandise. I don't even know if it's new. I've just never been able to see it because it's tucked in like the regular gift shop. Look at Pluto here. This is literally one of the coolest little stuffed animals I've ever seen because it's Pluto, but it's the dog from the end of the Pirates of the Caribbean animatronic. Look, it's got, it's got the keys in the mouth. I think that's so adorable. How much is this? Now I want to ride Pirates. $24.99 for Pluto, and then they even got the monkey. Look at this interactive coin bank, too. He presses little uh, hat. And mark well the words, ladies. Dead men tell. That's kind of cool. I don't know how much it is, though. Oh, $29.99. $29.99? Are you out of your mind? I don't know how I feel about the new uh, Pirates gift shop, but I do like the merchandise. And I have a lightning lane for Pirates in just about 20 minutes. And uh, I was looking to move it up, but, like, there's nothing to move up to. And I was also looking to fill my other uh, lightning lane, like, slots. Because you get the three, and then you keep on booking them, but there's nothing to book. I looked all over. Like, there's, like, stuff for later on, or, you know, we can go do, like, Dumbo right now. But, like, the usual things that you would always see. I can't find, like, any other cool rides to go on so in the meantime I think I'm gonna grab myself a Dole Whip sit down and just hang out here in Adventureland and play around with the app like I said like I, I would ride more rides but like there's just none to ride right now you can wait in the standby I wouldn't mind doing the uh, the carpets the Lion's Magic carpets I'm not even sure what Dole Whip I want to get maybe the tropical serenade or the pineapple upside down cake Ooh, actually, I think we're going Tropical Serenoid. No pop, pineapple upside down cake. This is called the magic of the day, pineapple cake. Aloha, <laughs> JJ Donovan. This is the upside down pineapple cake. Comes with some Dole Whip on top there. I'm going to take, well, first I should go to the top though. 
It's like the Leaning Tower of Chiza. <laughs> here we go okay here we go now to get some of this pineapple look at that a perfect little midday snack the cake is nice and soft and you can see the pineapple just dripping on the bottom there that is so good i love this this is a very nice treat and it's not too heavy especially in the hot sun it's still refreshing we're gonna make our way into pirates right after we eat this but i don't know what else we're gonna do after this like I, I don't see any uh, like lightning lanes I can look for, and I keep on checking. I've been refreshing left and right. I just feel lucky that I got those two done. Uh, so uh, we might just call it you know an early day and kind of talk about our overall experience and make our way on the way out. As you can see, I only have one lightning lane selected, and that's Pirates for just about 20 minutes from now. And I can go in and book, but there's nothing for me to book. I've been looking and kept. I, I keep on checking. I could do the Barnstormer at like 7 o'clock tonight. Dumbo I can do at 2.40. Haunted Mansion sold out. Small World at 5.20. You know, like I said, there's really not you can choose from. I was hoping that I could get maybe another... Yeah, nothing. I got the uh, virtual group for uh, Tiana's uh, uh, Space Mountain. Yep, no luck. I'm sure on less busier days, it's not going to be like this. And we're going to be able to roll with the attractions kind of like we used to. But this today's the first day. So it's going to be super, super busy. And there are so many people out there trying to, get, you know, get the lightning lane and refreshing the pages. They know the tricks. So uh, today's probably not even the best day to judge whether or not this, uh, like, new service is worth it. Might want to come back in a couple of weeks. But I kind of like the, the way that it's user friendly. You know, before I always had a hard time trying to find my lightning lane. Now I just click one button and it's all right there. And it wasn't like that before. All right. Well, enough of the dull whip business. I think it's time. I think it's time we head on into Pirates of the Caribbean. So far, we paid $29. We rode Big Thunder Mountain, Tiana's, and now Pirates. And when I go back in to book something else, there's nothing I can do now for like another three hours. I mean, now... I'm I could do like Dumbo and I could do maybe the Barnstormer. I would say the rides that you could do easiest are Dumbo and the Magic Carpets, but like for me to do Haunted Mansion, it's all gone. There's no available later or nothing. And the same thing with uh, the Jungle Cruise. Uh, 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 well, Peter Pan is closed right now. So that's definitely gonna affect uh, the flow of business. But uh, we'll see, maybe we'll get lucky, you never know. I am happy to report though almost all of the lightning lanes I've been in have been just completely empty uh, and uh, no waits at all. Look, we're already at the uh, the uh, touch point here. We don't. I don't even double tap anymore. Looks like we got the front row. I love riding in the front.
That was Pluto, the little plushie earlier. It was nice riding pirates, and you see this is where the old merchandise used to be. Now they got all the walls up. I'm not too sure what they're doing or if this has to do with uh, the new lounge that they're building in this area. I think that's what they're doing here. But it's all closed off. Nothing over here. And now we got to see about uh, maybe riding another ride, hanging out. Oh, yeah. Look, it even tells you right here. Please go uh, across the way here. Wow, it's so strange. But I'm excited for whatever they got coming. They announced the new pirate-themed lounge coming here to the Magic Kingdom a while ago. And I'm sure we're going to hear more about it at D23 coming up. And actually, I have a schedule conflict because I'm going to be at D23. That is August 9th. But you know what else is August 9th? Mickey's Not-So-Scary Halloween Party. So I'm going to have to figure out what I'm going to do. You know what I mean? I can't be here in Florida and there in California on the same day. And I'm not even too sure. I honestly don't even know. Oh, look at this. Oh, Right now, I don't have anything booked. I could book uh, like another pass. I'm gonna see what they have available, but like I mentioned, there's not that much. The Barnstormer, no multi-pass experience. Big Thunder, no, no. I can do Dumbo, but not for another 20 minutes. Haunted Mansion, no. It's a small world, but I can do it at 8.50 at night. So like, it's easy to use. I feel like the new service is easy to use, but like, I'm not using it for anything because there's nothing, I can ride Pirates again, but not till 9.15, like several hours later. You know what I mean? There's nothing I can really do with it. That's the sad part. If anything, the best way I can uh, kind of describe this like new service is it's very easy to use in the app. It'll cost more money, but I think uh, you don't have as many selections available the way that it's set up like that. And I think a lot of days, like I said, when it's going to be slower, you're going to be able to roll with the attractions. But on busier days like this, it's going to be just like you see here where you're just not going to have anything available. Like, you know what I mean? You're going to get your first three and then nothing else. But honestly, that's way better than anything with Genie Plus because at least you can guarantee you're going to get those three and uh, like at least a couple more. I mean, it's not like I couldn't get nothing. So like, I, I don't know. Let me know. Let me know what you guys think and uh, we'll uh, continue hanging out. <laughs> I feel like today might have been a fail for the uh, Lightning Lane multi-pass and uh, I think I might just take it as a loss and uh, start making my way back home. Try to avoid the storms. It's been raining every single day here uh, in Florida for the month of July. Like literally like a tropical storm. Just around like 4 or 5 o'clock. So we'll uh, take it out and head home and see little Gracie girl. I'll probably come back and try using the uh, Lightning Lane multi-pass system uh, once uh, it's been around for a little bit. I think today, like I said, it's just over. It's been overused. There's nothing available. And I hope it's not like that always. And uh, it's probably one of the better things that you could do planning-wise, not like something you could just do day off. I feel like there's a good split between people that like to have things planned out. And then there's a good amount of people that just come to the parks on just a random Tuesday and they're like, oh, Right, I'll buy the multi-pass and see what I can do with like no thought and uh, it's not so uh, friendly for those types of people uh, but yeah we're gonna probably call it a quits and like I said go home and see the uh, little Gracie girl <laughs> oh Gracie where you at I'm looking for a Dalmatian named Gracie what are you doing come on go for a walk come on come down come on yeah there you go Big steps, big steps. Ow! Never mind, it's raining. Gracie wants no business with the rain. Whoa, is that you get the rain off shake? Come on, let's go. Gracie's favorite little cookies from the original bakery for dogs. She loves these little things. She's so patient and gentle the way she takes the cookie out of my hand. And with that, I think we are done here today. I'm in the middle of packing stuff up at my house and I'm going uh, to San Diego tomorrow. I'm coming for San Diego Comic-Con and I will be there at the Roosevelt's booth Saturday, uh, I think from 2 p.m. to 4 p.m. I'm not sure the exact times, but I'll put uh, a link with uh, all the uh, times, like the meet and greets. So if anybody wants to come by and say hi, just come by and say hi. I don't charge anything. I'm just hanging out there and I got some sunglasses.
I got, and I ended up getting the same exact glasses that I have, uh, just with like, like the tint on it. So I got some sunglasses for San Diego. Oh, I like it. Oh, and I'm bald. <laughs> but anyways, I hope you enjoyed the video. I, uh, like I said, I, I got to test out the new uh, Lightning Lane uh, multi-pass once uh, we get back and, you know, once it slows down at Disney. Uh, but I do have to say it is uh, a little bit more user-friendly. I think uh, you won't get as many reservations as you did with Genie and Fast Pass Plus. Fast Pass Plus. Fast Pass Plus. Uh, and uh, we'll just see how it goes. But anywho's, I hope you enjoyed the video. I enjoyed making it, and uh, we'll see you next time. Bye.